Hello and happy Tuesday. So um, today's warm up was about how does how do greenhouse gases keep us warm? And it's important that you include some of the vocab words um, in your description. So I may ask you to draw it. I may ask you to um, talk about it on the test tomorrow. But it's important that you um, use the vocab words. So. If we have our brown sun, so beautiful, the sun is sending us visible light. Visible light waves, visible energy. Here's my ground. Ooh, I could do it in green. And uh, that would be called sunlight. And then the earth is heating up. And it has to give that heat back or else the world would get too hot. And so it's going to send that back in the form of earth light. And these waves are much, they're longer because they are infrared. So they are beyond red moving towards microwave and radio waves. So they are longer waves. They are infrared. And remember that infrared is the same thing as heat. So we're getting visible light from the sun, which makes sense because we can see it. And we are sending back into space infrared waves, which is essentially heat, which makes sense because we don't see light waves like shooting back into space. So we're just sending back heat. Now, greenhouse gases are able to keep us warm because if all of this heat escaped, then it would be really cold here at night. We obviously don't want that. Um, it would also be co much cooler during the day. But as this heat wave is heading back, it might hit a carbon dioxide or it might hit a water vapor. And when it does that, that heat actually warms up that greenhouse gas. And that greenhouse gas is now warm and it's able to re-radiate that heat back to Earth. And it's this sending back of heat that keeps us warm. This re-radiation re-radiates the heat back. And remember that keeps us about 60 degrees warmer than Earth actually should be. Um, and of course there is some Earth light and some heat that's going to escape, which is totally natural and that's good or else we'd be too hot. Um, but some of it is going to re-radiate. Now, if we increase the amount of greenhouse gases, like we have methanes floating around and more carbon dioxide, what happens is these escape routes for the heat essentially get blocked, right? We like fill in that hole with greenhouse gases. So instead of this heat escaping, it actually heats up this greenhouse gas, re-radiates re it back to Earth. So greenhouse gases are good because they keep us warm, but if you have too many of them and you fill in too many holes, that heat can't escape, and then we inevitably start warming up our planet. So it's kind of like putting a really thick blanket over the planet. So today you are working on um, your review. I've created a video that goes over the review. Of course, it's going to make it a lot better for you if you do the review first and then check your work with my video. Um, or if you get stuck on something, maybe uh, struggle through it a little bit, look through your notes and then watch my video. I also created a look it um, that I think you should be able to access as long as you sign in. So you might just have to create an account, um, but you can do that just using your school account. And you can actually play the look it on your own, kind of like a Quizlet, or you can host a game. And I'm totally fine if someone in the class wants to host the game or if someone sends the substitute the link for the Look It um, and maybe they can put it up on the big screen. So however you wanna study, you're welcome to work with people. Just be respectful. Um, remember that there are other classes around, so make sure to keep the volume like subdued a little bit. Um, but yeah, do what you need to study if you have questions. After asking classmates, checking the, um, the video, and looking through your notes, if you still have questions, feel free to email me, and I'll try to get back to you before tomorrow. 
Your test will be tomorrow on the Google Meet. Um, that's it. Talk to you guys later. See you tomorrow.